fact that she's like she'll she's so to me. So it's me, you, Justin, and we have to. So Adele's a dog. Just to make sure whether Justin or Adele win immunity. Yeah, well. Just either round. Yeah. Can I talk to you? Yeah. Okay, so like, I have to pick between two things. It's either me, Adele, and Justin, or me. Well, you said final two. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I'm calling you. Okay. But that's what, that's what I'm telling you. They're like trying to like, just like, But the thing is, I've never made a problem to Justin. Like, I've never said, so what's Justin doing? He's not going to vote out of the dog, but we still have. We still have three. Like, Jordan for three and two. So. But, he, oh, he, but he knows. Drake has a split idol. He's going to use it on himself, and then. I mean, but who are they going for? Shoot. Me. Yeah, tell me. I mean, it's fine, but I'll Probably, just. But they. I'll just tell Drake to use No, I wouldn't be surprised if Adele said, um, "We're gonna vote for you if um, you don't come with us." So they probably mess it up. Okay, wait. Let's go through numbers. So, let's see. Um, Derek, Derek, Drake, and me, and you are definitely gonna have that. Okay, so that's three votes. And then if Drake uses a split vote, but they don't know who's a split vote. No. Yeah. But even if they voted for me, two, we still have three. You, two, we still have three. Them, two, and then split. Okay. okay. That's what can happen. We have to yeah, bank on immunity. So this, is, this is a straight vote? No, this is a challenge. Okay, so there is still an immunity. Yes. Mm -hmm. Star Wars? Star Wars? I know it's like a tough decision, but like, I just want to think, like, I jeopardized my game for y'all by phone because I thought I had your work. And honestly, if you're with me and Justin in the final three, I'm not saying for sure, but I'm almost positive you will win because at least two people have already told me that if you were in the final two with me, in the final three with me, they would go to you. Yeah. I'm just asking for the last few words. Yeah. Cash in my rewards card. There I And I mean, I've been honest with you the whole game. I mean, yeah, I wasn't on your side. Okay. And. Yeah. So it's come down to immunity. It'll come down to immunity and it'll come down to ammo. Man. Pre no pressure. Um, okay, so I have to basically pick <laughs> between, um, like, two things and, um, I have always promised at least final two. I mean, there's final three, but we have always said we're going to final two together. And um, I, I had to go with my promise. And um, and yes, Adele and Justin have been so reliable to me, but I haven't made a final two three deal with them. And I made a deal with Elise. So, I mean, it just comes down to that. Um, if if that makes me lose, then I would feel better than backstabbing someone and this late in the game and so close to the win that it would just make me feel so bad. But I know this game isn't personal, but like still, I had a promise and a deal, and me and Elise have stayed together the whole game, the whole game, even when we weren't on teams, we still had a deal. So she's they're trying hard to sway Emma. I'm so scared. Because Emma's giving no, us making no, the same. I, I know. No, same. no, no, no. But like, I, <clears throat> I know like 100% that she's not going to turn. I know. I already talked to her um, about it. And she said she was going to keep like communicating with them like, like okay. basically. But she's not. And like Adele just was like, um, like telling me I probably I wouldn't have a chance with Final Three. But like. Yeah, we, we, you, me, you and Emma literally we played the same. Like, yeah. We've had equally as good, like all of us have played really good games. Yeah, and, and, and it's like, and it's like I'd rather be up there with y'all 
it's because like, like we agreed on this literally and like, the, like yeah second tribal like the, the time like the second tribal council exactly like, and it's like like and I'm sad that like I had a I be disloyal to Adele, but like she was disloyal to me. Like that round, I almost got out. You know, she was one of the like, she was one one of the like I saved myself basically with my stealing your vote. So I'm so glad you remembered that. It was like it was like so close. Like you didn't remember I know. it. So I, was I, was, like, I was like, wait, can I use it? And Taylor was like, oh yeah. And like that was a complete flat twist. I don't yeah, know. Okay. Anyway, cool. but, but I'm just letting you know that. Like. In three, two, one, begin. Oh my god. Um. Oh. Emma, are you hurt? Yeah, we should do it on me. Yeah, final three. Okay. I know your decision is probably already made, but I'm not gonna give up. Yeah. And if this has to be the one thing you do in repay for me flipping, just let me have one more week. Just one more. And then no more debt. But but, but why? Emma, I could, I, I convinced people not to get you I out I know, but twice. why would you want to stay another week? Because would you want to go out? Would you rather stay one more week or go out I know, but that week? still jeopardizes of you winning, and then, and then who knows what can happen. All I'm saying is that as long as I'm here, you will never get my vote. You'll never. As long as I'm in this game, you will not get my vote. Because... As a winner? No. Okay. In the game. Yeah. Um, but I convinced people not to get you out multiple times. Multiple times. Because I had a word with, I trusted you, and I know I wanted you to trust me. And, I mean, I just, I have promises. <laughs> you have promises to me, too. When? Emma, you... We, I flipped because of your promises. Because I told I said, you you wouldn't be at the bottom. Okay, and... Uh, hey, Justin, can you... Like, hey, can y'all move out of the dark for episode purposes? Sorry. Yeah. You told me I was higher than Justin. You told me that. Okay, but it's still... You would be out next round. Uh, it's okay, but I just want you to keep your word. That's all I want, is for you to keep your word. I I also want to keep my word to somebody else. Yeah, to your final four with Drake and Elise. Yeah, I know about it. That's how loyal your other people are being. Okay. But, like, don't talk about how loyal you are if you're not, if you're going to make promises to other I people. I didn't talk to you. I didn't say anything about loyalty. You, you were always like, I'm loyal, I'm loyal, I'm 100% loyal. To you? To everyone. That's always your argument. That's always your argument. And I'm not trying to That's attack That's always your you. argument. Oh, no. Oh, no. I will say, I turned on Thomas and them. I was not loyal to them. I never lied. I never straight up said, I'm staying with y'all 100%. When they asked me, I just didn't say anything. But when you asked me anything, ev every time you asked me something, I was 100%. Me, too. Lying. I was always 100% true to you. Not when you said I was above Justin. Obviously. 
if you're gonna vote me out this round. Alright. Okay. Alright. I'm screwed. <laughs> I know y'all have your final four and whatever, but just let me be ahead of Justin. Please, I gave up I gave up my game for y'all to come to your side of the house because they wanted you out, they wanted Emma out. And I didn't let it happen because of me. That's a good point. Yeah. You wouldn't be it's, here if I wouldn't have flipped. You would be out. I have never gotten a vote for me this entire Right. They this wanted entire... you out and I said no. They wanted you they wanted Emma and then they wanted you. And that was when I started flipping. Okay. I think about it. And I'm not asking you to take me all the way. I'm not. I'm just asking y'all to let me have one more round with Justin. That's all. That's all I'm asking. Okay. Just because I feel like I deserve it. No, you do. It's just a matter of who is better at competitions. And us assuring that we're going to win the immunity for the next, the next round. I've won one competition. Yeah, but My team won none. I won one, and it was that freaking thing that I win every time. Okay. Right. Justin, that ball game, he got five. Everyone else got one or two. That's more physical and more, that's physical and strategic. The thing I did was putting a freaking pantyhose on my head and knocking down a thing. Okay. Okay, so tell me what's going on in the game right now. Um, I was unsure about Emma's status and uh, me, Emma, and Elisa's final four. I mean, final three. Well, final four with Jessica, but Jessica got out. Uh, and but I've have an idol, and I off. I told Emma like I will use the idol on you. It's the last chance I can just to show my allegiance to you, so you don't go onto Adele's side. Adele's campaigning hardcore. She just gave me a lot of really good reasons to keep her, but I just I don't think I, I am much more confident in her ability to win competitions. We have to assure me Emma and Emma at least have to assure that we're going to win the immunity next round. And I'm much more confident in her ability to win mm -hmm. the competition, but we'll have to see. I'm gonna see what Emma tells me. All right. Text message next year. That was Randy Reed's famous. Randy Reed oh. off the Delaware. Yes. Positive. That's what I, she's well, look gave. Look me in the no. Okay. Yes. <laughs> you're you're positive about voting. Her you're, off. And you're giving the idol to me and Elise. Yes. Okay. I'm using the idol on you and Elise. We're voting off Adele. She gave me a lot of like really good like. Stop you, stop story. But, okay, no. she, okay, <laughs> like, you know, okay. She was like, I was like, she's pulling like, she's like, pay your debt if you let me say one more. I was like, and she was like, then you pay your debt. And she was like, and I was like, I, I know, but I never, I had promises to the other people. She was like, you promised me that if I switched over, you would be, I would not be on the bottom of the total pool. And I said, you, you weren't at the bottom of the pool. But everybody, Jessica got, got out. Like, so many people got out in our alliance before she her. She was the reason Jessica got out. And then she out. was like, okay, and then she was like, yeah, but you listed that I would be higher than Justin. Okay, but I, I, she can't I told pull her that. It's not and a matter of who we want to go more. I, know. I was like, it's who we can assure that we're going to win the yeah. against. And so, and so I was like, um, and seriously, like when I was talking to her like like hours ago, like about like being high on total, I was just rambling like people off my <laughs> lines, and she was like, "You said Justin." I was like, "You can't like." I was literally rambling about people. like it doesn't. <laughs> she, she, literally, she literally like begged me, and I I can't, I can't do it. I know. I'm, we have to. I'm sorry. I would. I promise y'all, and y'all were the only people. I, I promised y'all. Yes, All right. I'm very right. Okay, here we go. All right, welcome to yet another tribal council. Justin, you're the last adult left. What are you doing to survive? Just here to have fun. What are you thinking? I know adults are, is that she's done everything for me, but I keep promises. Yeah, play the game. It's a okay. It's This yeah. is my game. And I, I can't. I, I, never it's feel better bad. for my Emma, game. Never feel bad for playing the game. But she's crying. I promised other people, no, and it would make yeah. me feel and worse. Emma. 
I'm just frustrated. Like, it's like talking to a brick wall. Like, nobody's gonna win against Emma. <laughs> Nobody. And they're all blind. And, like, I did everything she asked me to. I jeopardized my game twice for Emma. And I just, I can't stand when people lie. Like, I'm the kind of person that if I'm voting someone out, I will tell them I'm voting you out. Like, oh. Annalise, from the beginning, we've been discussing a growl from you. Uh, do you feel like you've reached peak growl in the game? I have. I, I've roared more than a growl. Um, and I'm planning to continue till the end. Wow. Adele. And, and what are you thinking as you move to the end? Um, I'm thinking it's all down to this next challenge. So. What do you mean? I have a final three, and if if the person doesn't win the challenge, then we're set. So. Okay, good luck. And Drake, you won a very intense immunity challenge. How relieving was it to be successful? It was like everything. I was like freaking out, literally banging my head on the post <laughs> during that competition. And to finally like uh, come out on top, it was nice. Sadly, I love you Adele. So what are you doing as you move to the end? Um, next round, Emma, Elise, and I just have to make sure uh, Justin doesn't win immunity. Or, yeah, Justin doesn't win immunity and we're set for final three. Okay, good luck. Right. Before I read the votes, if anyone has a hidden immunity idol and you want to play it, now is the final time to do so. Uh, I have this. I'll play it on Emma and Elise. Okay. I'll vote against Emma and Elise. I not count. I'll read the votes. Whoa, whoa. It's it's right. Okay. okay. <coughs> First vote. Elise. It's half a vote, Elise. Next vote. Emma. It's half a vote, Emma. Next vote. Adele. That's one vote Adele, half a vote Elise, half a vote Emma. Next vote. Adele. That's two votes Adele, half a vote Elise, half a vote Emma. Next vote. The person voted out of Survivor Kate Mutiny is Adele. Adele, thank you for playing. You have been voted out. Adele, the tribe has spoken. <laughs> they don't want me to leave. <laughs> thank you for playing. You did a great job. Adele, how you doing? I'm good. How do you feel about the game? I feel amazing. I made final five. That's awesome. That's one hand. The tears, that just means that I played an awesome game. If there's no tears, then it wasn't fun. So do you have any regrets about the game? Um, I think about regretting flipping, but then at the same time, I just really don't think that it would have worked out. Mm -hmm. I think Eminem and them had the numbers, but maybe if I wouldn't have flipped, I wouldn't be out, so, but we'll never know. What were the best and worst parts for you, other than being eliminated, being the um, worst? The best part was surviving two rounds when they wanted me out, mm -hmm. when I should have only been able to survive one because I only had one immunity, but my sneaky skills got me to stay two more rounds. Um, my worst part... Um, nothing. Like, I mean, I had fun. I felt like I played the game I needed to play. Mm -hmm. I did the best I could. Mm -hmm. No regret. I mean, yeah, nothing was horrible. Right. Getting out was fun. Mm -hmm. Talking to a brick post, I mean, Emma and Elise, that wasn't fun, but it wasn't terrible. And most importantly, did you have a good time? I had a great time. Awesome. You played a great game. Thank you for playing, Adele. Thanks. You have to throw it to try to knock down the bricks of other players. When both of your bricks are down, oh. you're out. But you can only throw cylinders that are thrown at you. So if you throw it at someone and they miss, you're giving them ammo to throw back at you. Can you block cylinders? No, you can't. <laughs> okay, so we're starting with Drake. Yeah, I'm um, 
I'm gonna move. If, if, like, both of mine are not, I can't shoot. Right. You have yeah. the cylinders, you have the cylinders. Yes. Oh. Oh. It's not even a challenge. Hug the camera. Literally like. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you feel that gift that was thrown? Yeah. Yes. I just, yeah. Are y'all ready? Down. Here's a little. Wow. Are y'all ready? Are you Easter gonna be off? <laughs> We're ready. What did I miss? Yeah, Kitty. Justin, are you ready? Yeah, yeah like, can we just like forego the voting? What? Oh, you need a video. All right, welcome to the final four tribal council. Emma, you are officially in the finals. What are you thinking right now? So much. Just it's been a long day, and like looking back, it was a wild ride filled with twists and turns. Wow. Hey. <laughs> hey. I've made this for a while. Um, yeah, hey. I'm putting out Justin. Um, I'm sticking <coughs> with my people, and I feel bad, but. <laughs> um, I'm just not looking forward to getting roasted in this final three because everybody hates me, but then I probably won't win. But that's a game made to All right, cool. Justin, you are the last adult left. Do you have any hope? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rooting for you. Thanks. <laughs> Who are you voting for? Drake. So I can spell his name right. Okay, so what are your thoughts about the game? It was fun. A little cold. Wish I was more of the kids' ages. <laughs> so uh, they could relate to me more. But overall, <laughs> great, great experience. Okay. Good luck. As you close in towards the end, what are you thinking as you approach the jury? Like, how are you gonna? Um, can I go first? Yeah. I'm thinking about um, like my game as a whole and how I'm gonna present it. And also just very hopeful and very grateful to have made it this far. And Drake? And I'm not expecting to make it this far. And like, yeah. uh, so I'm kind of I'm nervous about them asking questions, uh, formulating Same. answers. Uh, <laughs> but I'm super thankful. And I'm going to get roasted. Yeah, I'm kind of excited to get roasted. I hope I get roasted. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm excited for that. Don't but, make yeah. me cry. Nothing against Justin. He's just the only adult left, and our final three plan worked. And well, I mean, I think it worked. And um, I thought I would be out very, very quickly in the game, and I'm just really happy. Okay, thank you. Good luck. There are no immunity okay. idols in the final four. These votes are final. First vote, Drake. A lame bling joke from Claire. <laughs> I could spell your name right here. <laughs> Next vote. <laughs> Justin. Oh. What? Oh my god. Hashtag blindside. Hashtag blindside. Next vote. Justin. <gasps> it's two votes. Oh Justin. One vote Drake. Oh no, it's going to be Drake. Good one, guys. <laughs> Person voting out of Survivor, Cape Mutiny, is Drake. Justin. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> Justin. Once again, Tribe has spoken. 
That was the smoothest one. Say the best relax. All right, Justin, eliminated again. How does it feel? Much like the first time, mm -hmm. except uh, it's a bigger knife on my back mm -hmm. <laughs> with uh, the name Emma mm -hmm. on, the, on the handle. But uh, all in all, great experience. I'm holding against the guys. And how, girls. Good how, luck. How challenging was it to come back in from Redemption Island? I mean, pretty challenging. You know, you have a target on your back mm -hmm. right when you come in. I think it's kind of impossible to mm -hmm. get this far. So I'm just happy to get as far as I did. Did you think you played a good game? I think I played, played an all right game for the first time around. Mm -hmm. Learned some things for next time, and uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll get a better outcome. What was the best and worst part for you? Best part was uh, winning immunity at crucial times, and Adele. And, My uh, only loyal companion. The worst part was probably uh, slipping and falling like oh. two or three times. Thanks. And uh, most importantly, did you have fun? Had a great time. Awesome. Highly recommended. Thank you for playing. Oh my god, it's the final three. How do you feel? So good. Rock I would love to get roast. <laughs> same, same. I think we're all same, about same. to get roasted in some way. Yeah. The questions are going to be hard. It's going to be really I'm bad. I'm probably going to stutter and suck I'm probably going to cry. Do you feel like you're living in your sister's shadow who made it to the final three last Survivor game? Not at all. We play a completely she played different game. Totally yeah. And I feel strongly about my game so I don't feel like I feel like it's like not I'm not living in her shadow but like it's just mm -hmm. separate so do y'all have any final words before you go in um uh, I'm grateful scared. yeah I'm just grateful that I don't care who wins I'm yeah. scared yeah, I don't yeah care like wins. anybody here deserves it so that's yeah. whatever how about one more hug for we the camera third, right? yay Aww. So we have the final three. Um, each of them will address you with a quick summary of why they should win. Then each of you will ask a question to them. So we'll start with Drake. Um, I've played a very clean game. I was literally, I was not voted on during Tribal Council once until the final round, and Justin voted for me because that was basically the only option. <laughs> that not a single vote for me. I played an extremely clean game. No one was coming after me. There might have been people coming after me, but my name was never said for more than a few minutes this entire game. I managed to play, I managed to be friends with both sides of the game, with people on both sides of the game, and I formed a great alliance within like the first two tribal councils. I formed a really good final four, and we lost one on the way, but the rest of us are still here. So um, there's that, and also I made they're really, like, I was able to make tough decisions the entire game. I voted out my, like, my biggest ally ever, Holly, because I knew that it would be better for my game. And I was, I made tough decisions like that the whole game. So, I played a very clean game, and because of that, I think you should all vote for me. <coughs> Thank you. I had a real, I had so much fun, honestly. Like, this is, like, one of the best days ever. Um, uh, okay, so, uh... I'm sorry if any of you are bitter um, about anything that happened, so I apologize if I anything happened between us. Um, I could say that I made big moves, I made risks, and I um, like playing these games. I've listened to strong players, and I could say that I didn't listen to them. I played my own game, and um, and I kept to promises mostly. Adele would like to say, um, and um, but I took risk. I took out big players, and I definitely made decisions on my own. Nobody dictated my game, and um, that's why. Okay, uh, I just like to thank y'all for letting me play. Uh, it's my first time, and also I wanted to say that everyone up here is deserving, and so um, just. Take your pick, I guess. Um, I had a final two with Emma from the beginning, um, before the game started. So mm. last night, actually. So uh, Ooh. I, um, <laughs> like, I knew I was gonna have to have to be discreet um, about us convening, but um, I feel like throughout the game, I definitely walked the fine line. Um, because I was kind of in between a lot of stuff. 
and I was very strongly influenced by people and eventually had to take my pick and I survived it but I played a clean game and I didn't break any promises and um, I want to thank y'all again and I had so much fun. We'll start with Jessica. Jill, you can say your ass. No. <laughs> I, I don't have any questions. I think we all, I mean, I had a blast. I think we all had fun. That's what matters. I don't want to know about your lives. <laughs> <laughs> she got the Rabbas. <laughs> One word, Rabbas. Um, yes, okay, um, we're going to come back to Holly. Justin, do you have a question or say it? Emma. <laughs> What made Drake a more attractive top three person than me? Um, what made Drake? Okay. Um, so before, um, yes, we we were on the same team together from the beginning, but I never really had made a promise to you um, individually to be in the top three and. Um, before even the merge started, it was when we had two merges, I had gone. I had gone to Elise, Drake, and Jessica, and we had promised each other a Final Four. And um, I knew that I could trust him uh, more than you. Um, and so I just, I wanted to keep that promise. Thomas. Can we, can I skip, can we skip me and come back? Okay. Then, uh, um, okay, I have two, sorry. Okay, this one's, for, I mean, I guess it's for all of y'all, but I just want one valid reason to convince me that getting me out that round was a good decision. Just one. Do you want me to go? Um, getting you out that round, I, you were a very strong physically competitor and I knew that um, with all the drama that was happening I couldn't like solidify my spot with you in the final three even if you won because I knew with all the stuff that happened and you were tight with Elise y'all had that promise of never voting each other out and Drake you were tight with Drake also so I just wanted to solidify my spot and keep my promise with them okay the same reason for me I you have like the most heart and like passion of anyone that played this that's played this game and you're and once you're once you're angry you <laughs> you 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 succeed and so, uh, I was I was super I was super scared that you would win the next immunity and I wouldn't be guaranteed a spot in the final three so it was, that's why it was the best move for me. Which other question? I thought like you were so determined, like you would have been so determined to win the challenge that you could have won, and um, you like you had like thrown around the ideas of um, taking Emma and Justin to the final three, and um, I was I didn't you know I didn't think I would have a spot, and also uh, you you'd ask me if um, like if I if I was gonna stick with them um, even if. I didn't think I was going to win, and I said yes, like I wanted to maintain my integrity, so I questioned if you thought the same. Okay, and then my last question, this question is just, I just want to know what you think your biggest move in the game was. Um, okay, <coughs> I was like, my biggest move was definitely voting out Holly, it like literally crushed me, uh, but up until that point, I had been trying to play both, I had been trying to play both, it was literally split down the middle and I was trying to be friends with people on both sides so that my name would not come up and once I realized which alliance would bring me further in the game, I said, I, I told myself I have to vote her out as much as it hurts me, so that was probably my biggest move. Um, my biggest move was getting enough people to trust me and my, and getting the numbers to go against Thomas and Lauren. Um, my biggest move was like stepping out of the comfort of um, my alliance with Thomas and Adele because um, they had multiple idols and 
a lot of power and but I knew that in the end I would be the weakest one of them three and so my biggest move was siding with Emma in the boat of, of uh, I think Lauren. Um, okay, one of the things about Survivor is that I love that it's a final three instead of a final two because it brings the top, it's, it brings the best three to the end, not just somebody bringing the third place because they want to win against them. So what I want to know is, since that doesn't happen, I want each of you to say which of the other two you think, um, if it were the other two as the final two, which one should have won and why? Wait, so the question is who we would have brought? So like, no, Emma. Emma, like if it was final, okay. No, no, no. Emma, Elise you would Drake say final if final two were Elise and Drake, who do you think should win and why? Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, so if Elise and Drake would have made it to the final, um, I think Elise sh should have won just because of all of the targets that she was put on her because of the whole the alliance with you and Lauren and that whole side and her trying was literally stuck in the middle and um, just still working with me through all of it and um, just we had to be careful because of you um, just because of all the power and the power Adele had and the power Lauren had she just um, definitely like just played her cards right and um, just dodged a lot of bullets. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I think Emma, I would have picked Emma uh, because, like, as much as she made a lot of people angry, she <laughs> survived it and Survivor is about surviving in the name. <laughs> it's about surviving whatever circumstances come to you and she did that with. Maybe not with Grace, but she did it well. <laughs> <laughs> she, she did it. Say that to me. Um, don't take either of you. No, you all vote, yeah. Um, but I think I would have picked Emma because of like her boldness and <coughs> just like she was so firm and like determined like to get our alliance to the end. And like she really helped me through some tough... Um, influencing and decisions and not only that but she was very sneaky. So. <laughs> uh, I feel disgusting but I don't have a question. <laughs> I want to know why you guys thought it was smart as players to vote me out when I had the plus one, and I offered it to all. Mm. I want to know what your strategy was for that. <coughs> um, just like uh, you came back into the game, and so I wasn't famil as familiar with your uh, <coughs> strategies, and I, d I didn't know where you were at with other people. It seemed like you were kind of shifting, mm -hmm. and so. Um, I was just, that was just like my first decision. Also, I wasn't going to vote Adele. I um, promised not to vote her. And other than that, um, I know you had like, like started talking to Thomas and uh, about like a final two thing, and I was like unsure about that because he had kind of said the same thing to me. So. Um, okay, so that round, it was like really hectic because it was going – back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then after we like all agreed to vote out Adele, I remembered that Adele had an immunity idol. So that, um, I didn't tell them by the way, because I promised it. No, so I did. It yeah, it was, yeah. Um, but so I remembered that Adele had an idol. So then that's, it was like really like hectic on who now we should vote out. So, um, so like, just I went to Adele and I was like, are you playing your idol? Because I had just remembered it. She was like, yeah. So um, I was like, then I'll vote for Amelia because by then, even if we had all voted for Adele, you were still going home. So. Yeah. Um, I voted 
you out because I knew Adele had the immunity idol and I didn't want, I felt more safe with her. I know right before we had talked about having each other's back, but that was the first time we had ever really talked about, um, <laughs> about having each other's back this whole game. So I felt a lot more confident in Adele's, Adele saving me if, and I didn't want her to be, I didn't want her to be angry at me the next round and try to gun, try to get people to gun for me. So I got you out because, yeah, I didn't want Adele to be angry at me uh, the next round and get people to go after me. So. Hey, uh, I have two. Mm -hmm. First, how did working with the adults change the game for you? <laughs> I honestly didn't notice a difference. Uh, the talking to the adults is, or the adults I talked to was almost the same as talking to the teenagers. And actually, a lot of the people on my team that were adults were I thought were teens until <laughs> until they told me they were actually adults. Yeah. So it um it didn't it didn't affect my game that much, although yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, like playing with adults, um, it was just, like you just had to, um, make sure you get on the same level, like on, like where your head's at, cause, um, just like with being teens and adults, it's just making sure that y'all are still good and like, not, even though like we're, we're both teens, just like. I don't know if this is making sense, but it makes sense in my head. But uh, just being on the same level with everybody and making sure all our heads are one. Um, at the beginning, with like the team, the like the teams, our team kind of thought, oh, we weren't gonna do like kids versus adults, but like it kind of played out that way. So that was interesting. So then going forward, I made sure I was like talking to all the adults yeah. and being open and. Um, trying to communicate with everyone, so, like, I knew I was safe, I guess. And also, in what ways did idols change the game for y'all individually, if at all? Okay, um, idols played a huge, like, role in this game because, um, so, <laughs> the first time I wanted to get out Thomas, he had an idol, so we had to be really careful because he couldn't find out, so he would play his so he should he couldn't play his idol and second so he didn't come after me um, but um, so it's just like it's like the hard part is not letting the other person find out so they don't play their idol and then another thing was we wanted Adele to loot play her idol so she she won't have an idol anymore to get her out the next round so it's just all about like positioning and um, but it was like, in a lot of times, a lot of rounds, we would be like set on something, but then we remember somebody had an idol. So it was just like working around it. It was really hard. I mean, I didn't, I didn't, I used an idol towards the end, but it was that Miss Teddy actually gave me during the, like the last challenge she was in, during the ping pong yes. challenge. <laughs> she gave me, she gave me a, an idol, and I used it like in the top five, but it was pointless for me to use it, I just used it because I had to. Uh, so idols, didn't really, they never helped me during the game, but it made it, like Emma said, incredibly complicating trying to plan to get people to like target people strategically because like that ever present like threat, like every time we would go to the vote, I was like, oh my god, what if they have, what if they have an immunity? Like it was, it made me anxious. Uh, so yeah, that's why it made it the game really complicating. Uh, mine's pretty similar to theirs in that like we were communicating about getting out someone and then we would realize they would have an idol or they would just. Like color of it at the how, 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 and so that was kind of stressful. And then also, I had like an idol where you could like steal a vote, and that saved me. So I was happy I bid all my tin chips <laughs> at the auction for that. Cause if not, then I would have been gone very early in the game. Okay. And each of you will give a 30, I didn't miss anyone, did I? No. Okay, each of you will give a quick 30 second final statement, and then the jury will line up and vote, and then uh, the house the game will out its place. Okay, um, so Elise first. Uh, thank you, everyone. Um, I love this. 
I played hard. I was determined. I might not have been the best competitor physically, but I talked it out with people and I had integrity and I want you to all recognize that. And also these are very two very good competitors, so thank you. Um, also, thank you for a great game and, um, and also these are all we're all, like all great players, so I'm okay with whatever the outcome is. And um, I made risk. I got out a lot of big players with the risk of having a really bad outcome of that, and um, I just I kept my promise with the Leafs the whole entire game. Even if when we didn't talk during the team's rounds, we definitely had our back the whole entire game. So, um, and I just made really I made really big moves when it was really bad. <laughs> Um, first, like I said earlier, I played a very clean game, like, honestly, no one was gunning after me for more than a few minutes this entire game, and, like I said, one vote the, against me the entire, since this morning, uh, and that's saying something, because I'm, I see myself as strong in competitions, and I won a lot of competitions, and, in Survivor, that's important, and people still didn't target me, so it shows how strong my social game was, uh, and keeping friends and allies on both sides of that, both sides of the game. So for that, I like, I love both of these guys. We made a really good alliance, and yeah, vote for me. Wait, so they're voting for the winner? Yes, you're voting for a winner, not to evict. <laughs> um, so Jessica, you. Hello, Jessica. Hello. So, what are your thoughts as you vote for a winner? Um. <laughs> Uh, my thoughts on voting for a winner is really like Drake said. It's you know it's in the it's in the name. The goal was to survive, mm -hmm. and but then again, they all technically survived. Mm -hmm. But in my heart, the winner is the person who had the the best run, or who had the most fun. You know, mm -hmm. whoever's whoever's very happy with what they did, you know, or the, and the most deserving. Hey, and before you go... <coughs> Can you um, show it to the camera? Yeah. <coughs> One, did you have fun? Have Two, fun. would you play again? And three, any final thoughts? One, I had so much fun. <laughs> Two, I would come back here in a heartbeat. If you wanted to play another game tomorrow, I'll sleep over. <laughs> then again, I have to go teach religion class in the morning anyway. And what was the third question? Um, any final thoughts? Any final thoughts? Uh, Carabas. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> and happy people win. And happy people always win. But the thing is, they don't have to win in the books because they always win right here. That's what happy people do. Thank you, Jessica. <laughs> always a pleasure. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Yeah. Okay. This is what I'm thinking. Um, initially, I was waiting to hear the speeches from Emma and Drake to decide who I'm voting for. Um, Elise, I think, had a good game, but I trusted in her. In I trusted in her alliance too much, which is why I lost, but I don't think it's because of her decisions that I got out, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and I was hardcore leaning towards Emma because she held her own and she was making the shots almost the whole time of the game until I heard her and... Elise had a pre-made alliance, which means that Elise would have stayed with me if that wasn't made, and I wouldn't have scrambled as much. And so it kind of put me at a disadvantage. But regardless, I didn't really see Drake's game much. I, th I saw Emma as the controller, and so that's why I'm voting for Emma. Even though it kind of makes me mad that they did make that before so it's kind of like a whatever did you have fun would you play again in any final thoughts no 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 <laughs> <laughs> ow alright it's time to read the books
Do I read? I want to thank all of you for the great game. This was one of the hardest ones to predict ever. It was super fun for me. I was squealing. So thank y'all. I hope y'all have fun. Here we go. First vote. Drake. It's one more Drake. Next vote. Emma. It's one more Emma. <coughs> Next vote. Drake. Two votes Drake. Tracy. Tracy. Next vote. Correct. Emma. That's two votes Emma. Two votes Drake. Next vote. Drake. That's three votes Drake. Two votes Emma. Next vote. Drake. That's four votes Drake. Two votes Emma. Next vote. The winner of Survivor, Kate Mutiny, Drake. Thank <laughs> you.